Hey everyone, welcome to part 5 of our series on transferring data from Access to Excel. In this video we're going to combine formulas with some of the formatting commands we've looked at in part 4 to create a total line for our spreadsheet. So let's head over to our code window. Now the code window that I have here is the same as it looked uh, at the end of part 4. If, if anybody is joining in um, mid-series, what we've got here is we've populated a record set. It has data from a table that we want to put into a spreadsheet. We've done some basic formatting of the spreadsheet prior to writing any data to it. And then we have looped through our, our record set and written each data item, each data column, to a particular cell in the spreadsheet. We're going to pick up, actually what I want to do is I want to, just for kicks, you know, just to, 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 to show a, a formula I might use, I'm going to replace this discount column with a formula because we have the data we need to calculate the set the discount already on the spreadsheet. We just wrote it on, the, on, on a row we're working on. And yeah, I, use, I find it very helpful to, pick, to, uh, to write down what it is you're trying to accomplish when you, when you write these formulas in BBA because it can get a little bit confusing. And this is what we're trying to do. We're going to take, we want to subtract sales price from price and then divide it by price. That's going to yield us a uh, our discount. This is very helpful as well. Uh, sometimes I'll go over to the spreadsheet and build the formula manually so I can see what it is I'm trying to accomplish before I start writing uh, VBA code. And then we're going to use the range property again. <clears throat> and we are in column F. So it's going to look like just like the, uh, the range itself can look like it did above. And instead of using the value, though, we're going to use formula. Type it equals. Now we want to over here, the formula is all of this I'm going to highlight when we get an error message here. Yep. We need all of this, we need what we type to expand or to resolve to that, including the including the equal sign. So we're going to start off with the quotes and an equal sign here. And I want those parentheses because I want to make sure that price, that, that, that subtraction happens before the, before the division. So column C, I'm going to close our quotes. I'm going to use I. I, remember, is the integer that represents what row we're currently on in the spreadsheet. So CI, or in our example, C5. We're building a string here, right? So a space, oops, a minus sign. The next column is D, where sales price is located. The row is I. We're going to close our parentheses. Do our division sign. C again. And then close it up, finish it up with I. So that should give us the same results. And we're going to run it real fast just to make sure. Into our spreadsheet. Here we go. Into our, uh, excuse me, our form. Run it. And here we go. So we've still got discount here, even though we're not writing to it from the record set anymore. We're getting that totally from a formula. All right. <clears throat> so we've done, we've done that. Now, I want to I should go back to the spreadsheet. I want to create a summary line down here. What I want to show is I want to say uh, item count here, and then count the number of items we have above. And here I want to say average discount, and I want to calculate the average of these discounts. So that's what we're going for. Okay. Close that, go back to the code window. Nothing here is new, so I'm just going to copy this in. Notice, make sure, notice we're doing this after we've finished, completely finished looping through our record set and written all of our data rows to the table. I, in this case, is incremented after we've written a row, after we've written a row, a data row to the spreadsheet. We increment it again, we try to move next. So when we get to end of end of file, what we have here is we increment to the next the next row, we try to go to the next record in the record set, and it'll and, and at end of file, that move next gets you to end of file. And that pops us out of the loop. So when we get to here, I already has us positioned on what we want to be our total line. Okay. 
So we are going to, in column A, I'm going to write the word total items. I forgot to pull over my formatting. I want to write justify that. And then this is the formula that I want to try to get to. I want to count the items in the rows above there. And uh, the column I'm counting has words in it, so you can't just use count because count types, or excuse me, count counts numbers. Count A will, tie, will, will count non-empty cells, no matter what the value is. Now, B5 through B12 happens to be the actual cell, cells that we want to go for in our example here, but when you're writing code like this, you don't know how many rows you're going to have, so we can't do it that way. All right, we're going to use the same form, formula cam, command we used before. So we're going to, it's going to be equal count A. We know we're starting at B5, and we're going down in column B, but we want to go down to whatever our last data row was. Now, I right now is, has this positioned on our total line. So our last data line is actually I minus 1. Right. And I'm going to all right. And we need to change this to a B column B for left justifying. Save it. Run it. And there we go. So we got our, our label of total items right justified. And then our total items there left justified as eight. Next, we're going to merge these two cells because the word average discount won't fit in a single one of these cells. We're going to merge that, then put our label there, and then put our formula in the next column over. All right. and I'm just going to copy all of this in here and talk about it because we've already seen it. No reason for you to watch me type it. All right, so range C, I, whatever row we're on, comma, D, I, and the merge statement we've already seen before. I want to right justify that word, and then we're going to put the word average discount in the new cell we create, the new merged cell. And then I want to average the discounts that are above. And this is the this is the formula we're trying to go for: the word average, and then a range of cells F5 to F12. So the range FI dot formula typed out average F5 colon F. And then again, same thing. We're on our total line right now, so our last data row is I minus 1. And the last thing I want to do here is I want to bold that bottom line. Give us a space here. And we've seen this command before as well. Column A, I to F, I. Cells font bold. It was true. So let's run that see what we get. There we go. Total items, 8. Our average discount is 8.14%. Now, I don't know if this, this total line actually makes any sense or not to a customer, but again, I'm just trying to give you an example of how you might use formulas and how you might format the spreadsheet. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and next time we'll talk about lines.